gang, and we back with another video. This your boy Silk Living, and I'm back with another gun attachment for the PT111 or G2, G3C, or G3. All right, guys, so this is what we got today. Um, we have my G3C Toro, and we also have my PT111 or the G2, as you call it. Right, y'all know I did the trick on there. Why well, keep tinkering? All right, so let me clear this first. Take it out. Drop it. Y'all can see that's clear. Okay. Now, check this out. So, um, if you've been following the channel, you know that I recently bought a G3C Toro optics ready and that was for my birthday and i said i was going to do a few things to it i was going to change some things around so um i decided to change a lot i took everything i took everything that was on my pt111 because you know i have two of these so one of these went inside my mck and this one which is my first firearm i stripped it took everything apart and i put it on my toro now the slide i'm doing something with it that's why it's not here and the reason why this gun is broken down because i had a little issue installing this new trigger so i'm gonna drop a few pictures just to kind of go along with the story so you can understand what happened so basically i ordered the trigger 35 dollars comes with a spring Um, the problem that I had was he didn't provide the spring first off, and I couldn't figure out why the trigger was so hard to install. Mind you, <clears throat> to do this, you need a one eighth uh, punch tool, and you need you need a one sixteen. Now this one's short because I broke it. Well, no, this one's short because I broke it. This is the real length. So the first time I did this, I broke it. It's been really easy. Second time, so you know, I ordered a whole new one, but I still use both. But anyway, that's for, you know, you gotta take these little, uh, these little pins out, that's what I call them. Take these little pins out, one here, one here, and one here. Those come out, and then you can pretty much pop the internals out um so he didn't provide one i had reached out to him explained my situation hey i've done uh this build before i want to do this trigger this time you know but you didn't provide a spring everything was great he sent me two springs apologize for the inconvenience really good guy really good company i appreciate them working with me and they sent the springs um i still had a hard time putting them in so what I'm learning is because this is so brand new and I've only put like probably like one magazine through it, everything was still stiff. The springs were all still stiff. So I had a hard time taking it apart as well as I had a hard time putting it back together, you know? So, um, and I kept losing shit the whole time I was doing it. The springs just kept popping out everywhere. Um, one thing that I recommend people using, hold on. So one of the tools that I use, and I got this, uh, I think I was watching Keep Tinkering when I saw this, and um, this helps so much. So like I said, it has like a little light on it. I'll get that light to pop back on. Boom. So you got the little light on there if you want to find things at night or whatever. And that's, ten, that's mostly when I work because, you know, it's just quiet in the house. It has like the little telescope situation so it can, you know, reach things. But what's cool is it's magnetic. So when you tend to lose small things, um, everything connects to it, you know, big and small. So it, it really helps, man. Uh, Amazon, real cheap, you know. So just as another tool, just wanna let you guys know about that. So um, that happened. My biggest issue, well, which stopped the build for me was, I don't know if you guys can see that right in there. I lost the little spring that goes to this. Um, this popped out, spring went flying around the house somewhere, so I don't know where that went. 
But I was able to go on to, I believe, Tourist USA or Tourist.com. And I went on eBay and I actually found a little piece I needed. Ended up being like $16. So that's on the way so I can pop this one back in. Because basically I took the one out of here and I put it inside of my Toro so I could finish the build. Um, and like I said, once I got that air, uh, you know, she, she, she's perfect. Um, what I, what I will say, and you know, it was double action. So let's see if I can do it like this. So pull back. That's where we at now. Boom. It's the break. see where we at right there and then it breaks again yeah so it works pretty much just like this one does um between these two this gives you more room way more room which i actually like this but like i have my mck and like i said this is my daily driver i still love this you know i don't mind i have smaller hands so i don't mind it being this close space but to be on the safe side, if you want to do this, I feel like this one is the better for anybody. Just straight out. It's just more room. I like the flat feel. I always did. Um, the triggers are not bad stock. But in my opinion, I think keep tinkering triggers are better. It's just the feel of it. it, it just, he has it on point. This one is uh, it has a little bit of a, it's a curve. It's a curve right here. But at the same time, it's got, it's like a, how do I say? It just, it, I don't know, it just, it feels better, man. It's, it's way better. But this one is a flat trigger, it's flat. All the way around, it's flat. It's not bad, but out of these two, which one do I like? I'm gonna have to go with this one. On looks, this is probably a better feel. You know, but they're both good quality. And um, like I said, he got out, he got those springs to me so I could finish it and everything is good. Um, I ended up, like I said, taking the threaded burrow, putting it on here. It made more sense because I'm doing suppressor height sights and I'm also trying to do uh, an optic green optic. So it's like, you know what? It makes sense for the threaded burrow anyway, because you know, we're setting this up for a suppressor. So, um, that's pretty much going to be the build for the Taurus, for the G3, which brings me back to doing something different for my uh, original PT-111. Um, so this video is a little short because I didn't do the installation. I've already done the installation. So if you want to go back into my old videos and catch that, you can. Um, I got a few parts that I might be selling. If you just happen to not be able to get on to um, Lakeline LLC, uh, I got a few things that I'm letting go, just extra things that I don't need. Um, they are, will be a lot cheaper than what they're offering on there. But like I said, majority of my parts came from uh, Lakeline, and I love them. You know, I I, I stand behind them. Everything's been pretty cool. Uh, great people, quick response. Um, I decided that the G3C Toro would be the house defense firearm. Um, once I was carrying it around, I just couldn't justify with an optic. I'm a big guy, so I just feel like an optic on here and, and the suppressor sights might not be as comfortable. So um, I'm gonna be sticking with my regular PT-111 or G2 as my everyday with the grip. And I'll let you know how that feels. And this will be my home defense with my 15 plus five plus three and my 17 plus three and that's from Galloway Precision. So just giving you guys an update man on what's going on in with the trigger. I love it. It's been great. I finally got a battery back in. So you know I can got my beam going again. Everything's wonderful. Um we went over a thousand subscribers. We passed the four thousand watch hours so, so I always I really want to say thank you guys for that. That means a lot to me. Um, don't forget, I am almost done with my MCK build. So make sure you guys come back for that. Uh, I put an order for the drum. They were currently sold out. So I'm on the waiting list. Um, but other than that, because I know some people have asked me about that. Other than that, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> but I do need some help from you guys. 
what I've decided to do is I want to go with a whole new firearm, a whole new build. So I'm looking at the Canic. Um, I think it's the sub, it's not really a subcompact, but it's the sub, they call it a subcompact. Or I'm thinking about doing the Glocks, like a Glock 19. Glock 26. So it's either the Canic subcompact or we're going to do the Glock. So I want you guys to drop Glock or drop Canic. Whoever has uh, the most for either one, that's the one we're going to go with. And I'll also be doing a giveaway for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'll probably drop some money, you know, cash app or something like that on top of. We, I want to see, do you guys want me to go Canic route or do you want me to go Glock? And if there's something else you want me to do, uh, build-wise, let me know. If you guys want me to stick with Taurus, let me know. Or if you guys want me to move on to something else, let me know. Um, so that's pretty much what's going on. Like I said, I love the trigger. It feels good. Now, I have to go out to the range and shoot it. I haven't shot it. But as far as functioning, I have no issues with it. It was just a harder install. This was a lot harder to install then my PTs, in my opinion, I think it's only hard to install because the gun is so brand new. So, you know, just trying to get things to move and take apart. Um, because I've taken two guns apart, I was very familiar with everything I was doing. The only issue I had was installing the new uh, spring to go inside here to finish it. And uh, to assemble it back up together was a little tedious for me. But like I said... I got some replacement parts coming on the way so I can put this back together and uh, I'll show pictures of that. But that's about it, man. A happy Thanksgiving to you all. It's the end of the year. Y'all be safe out there. Um, you know, you have the right to protect yourself. So please exercise that right. It's a lot of crazies out here. And uh, like I said, if y'all want to see the Glock or y'all want to see Kank, drop in the comments because whoever got the most, that is the firearm that I will be buying next. All right, guys. That's another one. Take care of yourself and wear your mask.